Okay, so on our way home from the uh, uh, Sweden Creek Falls, and we can take a little bit longer at home and swing right by um, Smith Creek Preserve, which is home to, um, I'm going to have to figure out about this name. It is uh, spelled online as Q-U-I-V-A-L-A, Elise. So, seems kind of French to me, Cuivala, Elise. Um, but here at the top of the trailhead, at the signage, it just calls it Elise Falls. So, either way, whichever way you're supposed to say it, pronounce it, that is where we are. It looks like a pretty short and easy hike, and honestly, add 10 minutes to my entire trip home, drive-wise anyway, minus the hike. So, thought we would squeeze this one in, because this is one of the smaller ones. Um, it looks quite beautiful online, but it's a smaller waterfall, and we seem to have plenty of water flow today, so I was like, should go ahead and squeeze this one in, see if I can get some pictures of it. I'm starting to build a database of pictures of Arkansas waterfalls. <laughs> Um, well, mostly Ozarks, but, you know, that's where most of the waterfalls are. So, that's what we're doing right now. I hear flowing water ahead, so I think I'm getting close. I've walked a decent little distance. And I just want to say, like, what you see for the trail here, unless something changes dramatically in the next short little ways, this is super super easy super kid friendly trail this would be a great one to take the kids and the dogs on not well marked at all i haven't seen any markings at all but you can see how clearly you can see the path like unless something changes dramatically you're not going to lose the path here there's been a decent amount of elevation change um I'm, i'll probably get a little winded on the way out because it's been all downhill but it's a pretty it's a pretty subtle grade. There's no climbing down or anything like that so far. Or scampering over boulders. Looks like we're about to go through the creek bed here. Um, but yeah, this would be a great hike for taking the kids and the, the dogs. And I don't know, people walk their cats. Like, if you take your cat out, you could probably bring him out here too. Oh, that's, that's pretty. Look how clear that water is. Oh, it's very beautiful. All right, so through the creek bed we go. Perhaps we're supposed to go right up the trail here. As I said, not well marked, but you can't miss the trails. Like, they're very well trodden, let's say. Okay, I take it back. At least here, there are a couple of trail markers. They're just really easy to miss. I'm gonna show it to you. The reason I'm popping in this little snippet is I think this valley is where the waterfall is going to be and you've got to see this the entrance to this looks like something out of a a tolkien novel this is this is beautiful holy cow just look at this like don't you feel like you're on a quest for a magic sword or something starting up into this valley look at all the well first of all you see that little yellow dot on that tree to the right? That's the marker. I like <laughs> the moss on the rocks, the water flow. Oh my gosh. One of these days when I get old and crotchety, I'm going to like be a hermit back in a valley like this somewhere. Oh my gosh. Like, look at this. This is incredible. Oh, this was a good call. And I was all like trying to decide, do I really want to stop and waste an hour hiking before I have to head home? Uh, yeah, Justin. Yeah, you do. Holy cow. That's beautiful. Okay. We got to get to taking some pictures. I just, this one, though it's small, 
it's breathtaking. Like I'm in a little bit of a loss, little bit of a loss for words. See, there you go. It's not just the cascade there, but it's this whole little valley and the moss. Like, I think we've got this shot set up here. Let's see what we can do. It's just, <laughs> this is cash money. This is like shooting fish in a barrel for taking pictures. Like, you can come out here with a Polaroid and look like a pro. Um, this is, this is so awesome. Um, and it's such an easy hike. Like, guys, seriously. I mean, this last 200 feet, 300 feet maybe, up this valley to the, the fall, is, I mean, a little tougher, but I mean, you could totally bring kids, bring your dog. I actually passed a couple of young ladies with a puppy dog. I think it was a Labradoodle. Good looking puppy. On the way out, um, this is this is so easy to do. And it's, it's more than just this waterfall. It's this whole little valley that it's in. Like, I mean, look at the moss and the, I mean, everything about it. This is a film set. This is a film set. This is a little bit larger. This is a film set. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up because, I mean, this is the entirety of it. This short little hike into this and back out. So, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video today, enjoyed the adventure, um, please like and subscribe. It's the best thing you can do to help me grow the channel. Um, and, yeah, anything else you want, Instagram for the pictures I took here today and all the other pictures I take of my adventures, Twitter, Facebook, you can all do it from waywardstories.com. That is the website, and it is the nexus for all things Wayward Stories. You can get to everything from there. So I'm, I'm going to wrap it up, guys, and sit here and just I think I'm going to zen out for a minute or a few. And uh, you guys have a good day, and we'll catch you next time.